So I'm in the redwoods and we always talk about redwoods like, oh, they're so big and crazy. They're like the coolest trees out there. But like, I don't know. I got this big leaf maple behind me here. That's pretty dang incredible. What the cuss is going on? What? You see this thing? This thing is wild. So maples um, are really good at vegetative regeneration, uh, which is a process of adaptation that different trees take on. We typically see this in the bioregion here with the vine maples. They're really good at it. This in particular is known as layering, where a branch will touch the ground. It'll actually sprout new roots and kind of continue kind of bouncing like that. That's why vine maples get their name. Um, and there are vine maples around here. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a big leaf maple though, just because of the structure of it, the leaves on the ground. Um, there's currently no leaves on the tree and I've never seen a vine maple this huge. Maybe this is like a super crazy old growth vine maple. I don't know, but in either case, either this was the center point or if the starting point of it was over here, the kind of tap root, whatever happened to it, um, the main stem of the tree got pushed down maybe by a windstorm or the weight of its crown. It was able to touch down and then regenerate, kind of sprouting out new sprouts, sending new roots in the ground. So it's got one big interconnected root network here. And then the former lateral branches on the tree have now reiterated and are growing straight up to form kind of new branches across this cool interconnected archway, which is just like really fabulous. Like, yeah, it's not as big and grand as these redwoods, but like if this isn't just like a beautiful example of different ways that life has found a way to evolve and adapt to different changes, different disturbances that would otherwise kill it. Instead, it just shoots new roots and keeps on going. That is freaking inspiring. What a beauty.